man, we ran out of hay. I am tired of freaking having to do this by hand. These horses are just freaking mowing machines. So I need to look into getting something. Let's get to it. So I actually heard there's an old farm for sale and I'm thinking about purchasing it with all the items inside it. It's just an old farm buildings, uh, not really worth having for building wise, but I want the equipment inside to be honest. So shut that up. These horses are escape artists. So that is on the job. So I'm gonna go in here and try to look on our computer and see if we can get a uh, auction and see if we can bid on it. And then uh, if we can, we will go ahead and purchase it. I'm probably gonna have to loan some more money. Man, that John Deere still broke down over there. Yep, still over there, broke down. Don't understand. Usually John Deere's are always running. All right, so let's go on the computer quickly and check this thing out. All right, we got a little drone shot of the whole thing. I do see a workhorse in there. That is interesting. Oh, there's a John Deere loader tractor. It looks like a 4000 series. Couple grain bins, not really interested too much into that. Don't know what else is in these sh closed up buildings. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of junk around the place. Yep, old loader tractor. Don't know if any of this stuff is running. Uh, the workhorse, that uh, John Deere 4000 series can't be too hard to get to running. Let's see if we can put a good bid on to this. All right, so we put 50,000 down on it. Uh, we still owe another 25,000. So we got that whole place. It's basically run down. I mean, not 25. I don't know what the heck is wrong with my math. So we owe another 50,000 basically for the remaining. I uh, think I'm probably going to sell the place after I get all the equipment. I know the guy used to be an old dairy farmer. That's why I got all of his equipment. That was the goal in mind so let's get this dirty old ram going here we're gonna basically uh go hook up to our gooseneck run down there and see what we got goal is to get a whole bunch of feedlot equipment so that way i don't have to just go buy it one by one at least that's what i hope I know people said he used to have old feed trucks, so hoping that feed truck is still down there. Alright, so we're hooked up to our giant gooseneck. Uh, I don't know, I, I was thinking about maybe taking a semi down there with a trailer, but I guess we're taking just the gooseneck right now. Run down there and hopefully some of this stuff is running. We can get it all on the trailer. That's the goal anyways. Traffic is definitely out again today. Uh, looks like we even have a uh, John Deere on the side of the road. Thing definitely has a giant planter behind it. That's what I like about these straightaway highways, man. You can really fly down them. You'll have no problem going top speed down these things. Looks like uh, Grant's over there. I could tell all of his equipment's nice and muddy. He must be uh, in the field over there. Man, do they ever have some long trains here in Nebraska. Gotta wait for them. Gotta wait a while. That thing is giant. Look at that thing. It's still going. Alright, so I think this is our little turn right here. Not a very big driveway, so it's almost by the dealership. There we go. 
got in there. Train's still going there behind us over there. Things are long. Man, almost hit a bird there. So, this is it. We're coming up on it. So, most of the the dairy barn and everything got tore down. So, I uh, kind of retired and got bad health and just wanted to keep all of his equipment like most old farmers want to do. So, kind of kept it. And then, uh, and his uh, children inherited the place and everything, and they just wanted sold and get rid of it. They're not interested in uh, starting up this farm. I see the workhorse. The workhorse is back. Got another workhorse on our farm. Looks like it has a little grinder mixer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We are getting... This is a little sticky situation over here. I don't, I don't really want to stop. I want to go look at my workhorse, but I think if I stop, I'm done for. So, hoping to find a place where it ain't so muddy. I can leave this trailer. Probably put the trailer over here on the rocks. That should be alright, I hope. We'll just leave a trailer right here. Ooh, look at that thing. Flung mud all over the place. Dang, it's dirty now. Alright, so the task at hand. We've got the workhorse. It's over here. Oh, a little grinder mixer on the back of it. Very nice. Oh, a grinder mixer even has a scale. That's nice. So, this is... One of the things I was looking for is basically because I want to be able to grind up corn, maybe barley or something like that, and make it basically into feed so I can help feed the, the cattle a uh, little uh, in the feedlot. So definitely need some uh, ground corn for feeding cattle in the feedlot. I think it's important, but I think this will work out nicely for us. Yeah. Oh. And the key was just under the seat. Look at that. That's nice. What? That's why you get a workhorse. This thing started right up. We'll check to make sure it doesn't sound any hissing or bypass. The pistons there. No missing. Hmm. Well, I think we got a deal right here pull this out here around the junk hopefully you don't get a flat tire with all that old wood around here yeah this is a nice old workhorse this will work nice on the grinder mixer at least uh, I guess why not just uh, let's load this up right away Definitely be some heavy weight. I probably should have backed this up just for weight balance, but oh well. Too late now. Too late. Alright, so that is done. We'll strap this down. I was hoping to get that old loader tractor on here, but I don't think we're going to be able to get the rest of it on. Uh, just because I don't want to ruin the surprise for me, I don't think I'm going to open up any of the other doors. So we'll basically, we'll take this back to the farm quickly, uh, unload this. Uh, maybe I'll even try out that grinder mixer just to see how it does. And then uh, come back here and get another load, hopefully. At least we'll have a loader tractor, not more. All right. Definitely got this thing all mudded up. Uh, a little bit top heavy, that's for sure. Definitely got the dirt on this truck going around that mud, but it was already dirty before that, so not a huge ordeal. Uh, I'm so glad I got another workhorse on the farm. I was missing my old workhorse. Never hardly got to use it after I found it. Heading down, so I really like 
nice straightaway roads like this, especially when you're pulling a big load, nice and flat. You don't have to ever worry about, you know, pulling up, downshifting for a hill or something like that. Everything just pulls nicely going up here. Like a few cars coming by. It's a good thing this uh, workhorse didn't have duels on the back, so don't have to worry about being wide coming down these highways so wasn't really looking forward to having duels anyways I just wanted to uh, have something to kind of work on odd jobs on the farm can you believe this workhorse is running and this brand new John Deere stuck on the side of the road I just don't believe that at all Ooh, went Kind of came around that corner nice and a little fast there. So I don't know exactly where I would want this. I think I'll probably put this in one of my barns uh, just to... Oh yeah, actually I want to try out that grinder mixer because uh, I'm tired of feeding by hand and two, we need something for our cattle. I'll just pull it right over here. One, load it behind our grain bins here. See if this thing starts again. No, not really. That started that time. All right. And didn't take, came off that trailer nicely. Alright, so I got a few amount of uh, grain in these bins, and I'm going to try to this thing unfold. So I got that thing actually comes out right there, so folds in, folds out, opens up, so let's see. I'll fill this up with a little bit of grain to see if this thing works. Alright, so we put some grain in here and it looks like it mixed it up. So now we got some mixed rations we can give. So we got some ground up corn and everything we can give to these uh, our feedlots. So this isn't going to feed a huge feedlot, but we only got two pins. We ain't, we ain't big timing around here, that's for sure. But it will work for us for now until we can upgrade that. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to fold this up and uh, basically park this in. We're going to move this over to the barn. And then we'll have to go back for another load. The old hay barn will work nicely for this to be stored in. Alright, so I'm hoping at least that John Deere starts up. And hopefully there's at least one surprise in there for us. One of them buildings. So if you didn't see the other day, we got finished planting. Uh, I put all the planting supplies away. Uh, uh, right after their, our agenda to basically get uh, ways to feed our feedlot and uh, supplies and equipment to feed our feedlot, I need to start spraying because look, I got some weeds in the field. So that is on the list to do. but. My list to do is growing and growing. Only good thing is, is I don't have a broke down new piece of equipment on the side of the road. That's at least one good thing. All right, this is our turn right here. Not the easiest turn to make. Whoa, that car's coming quickly. I need to get over here. Oh, I got in Grant's field a little bit. Hopefully you give me it's like he needs to do some cultivation over here. He definitely deep rip. Well, I like country roads. You can fly down them. Uh, our second load, hopefully. I think I'm going to chance it again. I'm going to go around in the mud here. Try to flip the... Turn the truck around. It's not the easiest turning this truck around with this big long trailer on the back of it. Alright, 
so I wonder if there's any diesel in that tank there. Probably should check that out. Alright. Any diesel in here? Nope. Empty. Got this John Deere here. Ah, pretty nice. Yeah. Eh, battery's dead. That's unfortunate. Uh, I don't see that tires in the dirt. This looks like an old, uh, good, uh, bailing tractor here. Hay tractor. Got some forks on it. So this is, uh, 4,000 diesel. One of the old 4,000 series for the 10. So, has a little, uh, sunshade on it. Not a bad tractor to have. So I think I'm going to have to go uh, put my jumper cables on that tractor there. Turn around here again to go for the mud. Uh, I think I'm going to have to turn around the opposite direction. And try to get close enough to jump that tractor quickly. Alright, so hopefully I don't get stuck being I have to get close here. All right, let's see if this old girl starts. What? Started right up. Oh man, you see it right there? We are majorly in the Eon gas, so we're gonna have to do something about that. But hopefully, ooh, look at that. That thing is all the way down in the mud. Hopefully I can get this truck backed up there. Did I leave the back window open when I was mudding? Uh-oh. Yep, yep, backing up now. Alright, we got it out. We didn't get stuck like everyone else does. Alright, so let's get this over here. Now, goal is to put the loader tractor on the back there quickly before it runs out of fuel. This thing go into gear. Uh, yep. Oh, the loader tractor works. The loader, I mean, on the tractor works. Oh, got a little mud there. Alright, driving it up on here. So, we will probably just put the load oh, loader right over the actual gooseneck hitch. Now, let's see what we got in here. We got what do we got we got some tools in here which is good oh we've got a GMC the old GMC is in here hmm oh GMC huh uh oh uh oh man that's not good looks like the GMC won't start on us uh don't know. Maybe, maybe it's got some bad gas in it. Pull this little fuel filter off. Empty it out. Empty out the water separator. All right. Uh, pull that line off. Blow it out. All right. Now suck some more diesel through it. Let's see if this will work or not. Nope. Oh, yep. Start it up now. So this old girl started up. That's good. So we will go get this hooked up. Don't know if I need a lot of these tools. It looks almost like my other uh, uh, Quonset. So I do need this old truck. So I I've been missing my old GMC I had on the other in uh, Iowa so this will work out nicely Let's see if we can get this thing on here alright so we got it on there I had to take my little uh, my three point uh, little spear off of the tractor so I can fit it got that 
think that's it. Let's look in this other building quickly. Alright. Nothing in here to see, that's for sure. Yes! Here's the feed wagon right there. So, got this. Whew. This is kind of new, so... Surprise! This is nice of a feed wagon and uh, this old of a barn, so... That thing will be nice on our uh, little feed lot, so definitely was looking for a feed truck. Man, this thing is nice inside. I'm surprised how clean it is, and of course it starts right up. Drives nicely. I don't think we're going to have to uh, put this on our trailer, pulling home. Yep, I think we'll just uh, drive this home and I'll get my wife to take me back and pick up that uh, our Dodge. This thing drives real nice. And it has a fast, you can see how this thing runs. Man, this thing purrs. Wow. This thing definitely goes fast. Don't think we really got to drive at this speed because most of the time it's just going to be going from the silos to the feed truck. Probably don't even really need a feed truck, but just kind of convenient to have one, I think. This thing definitely flies down the road here. Has no problem making good time with this thing. To watch out for the broke down John Deere here. Don't want to hit that going at that speed. Definitely do some damage. So we're just going to pull this. I think I'm going to put it right behind the grinder mixer over here in our old barn. Work out nicely right over here. Yep. Nice old feed truck, so definitely more than what we need, but we do have horses and we do have a couple feed lots, so be nice when you have to feed every single day, just getting in a feed truck and getting it done. Alright, so I'm going to have to call my wife, see where she's at, get me a ride back to my Dodge. Alright, I'm going to shut this place up before we take off. I think I'm going to see if I can resell this for somebody that just wants the land or the actual buildings don't know if the buildings were even worth keeping basically they're kind of run down there's a lot of trash around them uh, somebody may want the old bins I I mean they're they're kind of old for us so we got newer set but not a bad place that's for sure Hopefully, I'll have to post this here quickly, and maybe if, if we can get 50000 for this place, we might be set. Somebody might want to move out from the city and put a little nice house right here and for the trees alone, and maybe just have the old place, and just have the old barns and everything for the old character of the old farm place. I don't know. Probably, I think we could, might be able to swing that. You never know, a lot of city folks are trying to move to the country. Alright, so this is the last load we have to haul today. Don't want to lose anything or get hit. Already got hit enough on this highway. Don't want to get hit again. I would be amazed of what a truck could do to me if it could do that much to a, a Steiger tractor, so... Don't know. That, that could definitely do some damage to this uh, old uh, gooseneck. I did see Austin around here. I don't know exactly what he's doing though. He's racing back and forth on this highway. Was gonna go stop and say hi, but he seemed like he was in a hurry, so I just let him be. He might have uh, stuff to do and a little bit of time, like every farmer does. come driving up on that beautiful place here sure wish they would have put this John Deere a little bit farther off of the road 
why I'm wondering if it actually broke down or not because it seems like you would put it a little bit farther if you wanted to uh, possibly uh, plant that field that you're in. Get out of here and unload these trucks here quickly. All right, park that right there. Now we just got to get the John Deere off and uh, we are done. So that was a productive day. We basically got a whole bunch of pieces of equipment. Basically, I think now we can start looking for a couple yearlings to put in our feed lot over here. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.